I'm Joshua Bardwell, and today I'm continuing my video series on the best action camera, or in this case GoPro, settings for FPV video. Today we're going to be looking at why YouTube ruins your FPV videos and how to get YouTube to ruin them as little as possible. One of the biggest problems that pilots run into when they start uploading FPV videos to YouTube is that when they watch the video on YouTube, it looks like crap. Uh, the videos do not look as good as they do coming out of your camera or coming out of your video editing software. It's not your imagination, it's real. And the reason that the videos look so bad comes down to bitrate. Now it's pretty hard to find reliable information about what bitrate Google uses when they send video down to you from YouTube. One place we can go is we can look at the bitrate that they recommend you use when you upload video to them. Presumably they're, they are, they're asking for video in the same or higher bitrate than they send it down to you. They, there would be no point in, the, in you sending them a low bitrate video and then them up converting it to a higher bitrate. That would just be wasteful. We can see here that they recommend you give them 4K 30 frames per second video at up to 45 megabit per second, 2K 30 frame per second video at 16 and 60 frame per second video at 24 meg, and 1080p at either 8 or 12 megabit per second, depending on if it's 30 or 60 frames per second. And immediately we can start to see a problem here because in my last video, we saw that 2K video at 60 megabits per second looked pretty good. But 4K video at 60, 4K 30, by the way, at 60 megabits per second, sh it showed degradation in video quality even compared to 2K. So we can, 45 megabit per second for 4K, we already know that's not good enough for the kind of fast motion that we experience with FPV. It's okay for static frames or slow, frames without a lot of motion, but not for FPV. And we can clearly see that 16 megabit per second we had, we had pretty good looking 2K video at 60 megabits per second. 16 is nowhere near enough. Here's a page on Wikipedia that claims to know the bitrate used by YouTube when they send videos down to you. We have no idea if this is accurate or where this comes from, but hey, it's Wikipedia. It's probably right, right? Ah, who knows? Let's see what it says. They claim that 4K video, which is 2160p, comes down at 13 to 15 megabits per second. So Google asks you to upload it at 35 to 45 megabits per second, then they down convert it to something even lower. 2K video, nine megabits per second, 1080p, seriously, 1.5 megabits per second. Are you freaking kidding me? The bottom line is that whatever bitrate YouTube uses is completely inadequate for the kind of fast motion video that we're doing when we do FPV freestyle or racing. It's completely inadequate and it will always look like garbage. One workaround for this is to upload in a higher resolution than your video actually is. So for example, when I upload standard def DVR video, I typically up convert it to 1080p and then upload it. And YouTube uses the 1080p bitrate for the 480p content and that actually works out pretty good. So can we do the same thing with, with 1080p? Let's say you're going to upload a 1080p high def video, you up convert it to 4K. And now Google will use the 4K bitrate for the 1080p video and maybe it'll look better. Ah, uh, but there's a catch there. Number, well, first of all, will the bitrate even be enough? Will it look better? What's the best way to do it? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer that question. But more importantly, Will your viewer actually see a benefit? Because if you upload a 4K video, but the viewer views it in 1080p, w will there be a benefit there? Well, let's find out. I've got some data. I'm about to show you screen grabs from a video I uploaded to YouTube. I'll put a link to the video down in the video description. You can check it out yourself. The video contains 4K content, 2K content, and 1080p content. And all of that content was put onto a 4K timeline in Premiere. So it was up converted to 4K and uploaded to YouTube as a 4K video. What I then did is I viewed the video at 4K, at 2K, and at 1080p. And I've got every combination here and we're going to take a look at it and see which combination gives us the best looking video. And I'm going to start with the easy one. This is the 1080p content. So this content was shot in the GoPro at 1080p and Here's what it looks like when viewed in YouTube at 1080p. 
So in other words, in YouTube, I went down to the little gear icon in the lower right, and I selected 1080p. Now here's what that same content looks like when viewed in 2K on YouTube. So just to be clear, this is 1080p content, up converted to 4K, and then streamed at 2K. Let's go back, 1080p at 1080p, 1080p at 2K. You can clearly see an improvement there. Now here's the same thing, 1080p content uploaded in 4K and streamed at 4K. Not the exact same frame, but you can see there is an improvement. You can see that, that there's a lot more detail in the grass here. Uh, look at the trees. The trees look about the same. The trees aren't moving very much in these three. You can see at 1080p at 1080p, the trees are a little blurrier. They get a little clearer in 2K, and there's not a big improvement going to 4K, but there is a big improvement in the detail in the blades of grass going to 4K. I don't know. It could just be that I've got a different frame here. I'm not actually convinced it's better. Maybe it's just because it's a different frame. Yeah, maybe not. I will leave that. We'll call that one you know, provisional result. Before we go forward, I should remind you that we're viewing all this content on a 1080p screen. And, and I think that's what most people are going to be viewing it on, so I feel like these results are representative. If you are viewing on a 4K stream screen, I really question whether there's going to be much benefit because I don't think there's any way that the low bitrate that YouTube is going to give to 4K video is going to actually be able to contain any additional resolution that you would see on a 4K screen. Now we're looking at 2K video. This video came out of the GoPro at 2K. It was uploaded at 4K to YouTube and it's being streamed at 1080p. And now here's 2K video being streamed at 2K. One thing I think we can see is that the 2K video streamed at 1080p, I think it looks better than the, two, than the 1080p video streamed at 1080p. So hang on, let's get those side by side. So here on the left, we've got 2K at 1080p, and here on the right, we've got 1080p at 1080p. And I think immediately you can see that the 2K looks way better. Oh yeah, way better. I mean, this isn't a frame, an exact frame comparison, but just look at the grass here. The grass is just a completely muddy, blocky mess, and here it's way better. So interestingly, it seems like 2K video coming out of the GoPro will look better to the viewer, even if the viewer is only viewing at 1080p, and presumably even if you only upload at 1080p, although that's not the exact test that we did. Now let's see if streaming at 4K makes any difference. So this is 2K content streaming at 2K, and here's 2K content streaming at 4K. And there's really not a lot of difference. So if you're wondering whether there's a point in up up resing the content to 4k and streaming at 4k it doesn't look like there is finally let's look at 4k content this is 4k content that came out of the gopro uploaded at 4k obviously and then streamed at 1080p here's that same content uploaded at 4k and streamed at 2k 4k content streamed at 2k and 4K content streamed at 1080p. I think the 4K content streamed at 2K looks actually worse than the 2K content streamed at 2K. So that's also pretty interesting. Now I know there are those of you who are saying, yeah, but you're looking at still frames and still frames aren't representative of what you see. You know, there's, there's P frames and I frames and all kinds of frames and all that nonsense. Uh, I have tried to carefully select the still frames to represent what I see after not literally hours, but a lot of watching this video and staring at it and pouring over it. But if you don't trust me, if you don't believe me, or if you just, just plain disagree with me, you can find this video. It's up on YouTube. I'll put a link in the video description, and you can look at it, and you can make your own conclusions and argue with me in the comments. I will show you the, a few little subsections, though. I don't want to go on too much longer about this, but I really feel like these, these results hold. So here's 4K content, and I'm viewing it at 4K. This is a 1080p monitor. I acknowledge that. Uh, I submit that, look at this image. Come on. We're not at 4K here. You, you, you broadcast this image on a, on a 4K monitor. You, this is not going to suddenly become sharper, all this blob here. So if we go ahead and watch this, and by the way, I'm going to watch it at quarter speed just to make it a little easier for you to see you know, what's going on. Just take a look at the grass. 
right? Take a look at how sharp and blurry it is, etc. Right, okay, you're starting to get get a sense of it, right? Get a sense of the image. Okay, fine. Now, I will tell you, if you watch this at 2.7K, it's worse. If you've got 4K content out of the GoPro, definitely watch it at 4K if your computer can keep up with that. Um, yeah, definitely. But hang on. Here is the 2.7K section of the video, and we're watching it at 4K. And I just, if you don't see a night and day difference between the 4K content and the 2.7K content, I don't know what to tell you. Let's watch it in motion because still frames are not the final picture, yada, yada, yada. I think this looks way better than the 4K content out of the GoPro. And it's because the GoPro at 4K is putting out a worse raw image that you then feed into, you know, it just, you start garbage in, garbage out. The 2.7K content out of the GoPro is higher quality, and therefore, when you upload it to YouTube, you also get higher quality content. Let's just check to see if downloading at 4K from YouTube is helping us. So we'll, now we've got 2K content, and it's being downloaded and viewed at 2K, 2.7K. Sorry, I keep saying 2K, but it's 2.7K. That's, that's, that's a mistake. I apologize for that. 2.7K at 2.7K. Mm, yeah, I think it's a little worse. Yeah, 2.7K at 4K. Yeah, I think it's a little better. The other thing I'm going to take from that example is that I do think the still frames are representative of the video as a whole. And we're only going to look at still frames from now on, but I'm making all these source videos available to you. They're linked in the video description and you can dig into them to your heart's content. Now let's talk about bitrate. And the next question I wanted to address is, is there an advantage to using a higher bitrate when you encode? So here I am in Premiere, and uh, this is actually the project I'm working on right now. This is, <laughs> we've got Inception here. <laughs> this is, I'm recording me editing this very video. Uh, when you do uh, the, the option to output, you put your target bitrate. And you can, you can choose a very high bit rate or a lower bit rate, right? Well, the GoPro is outputting 2.7K footage at 60 megabits per second. So is there an advantage to rendering at 60 megabits per second before you upload to YouTube? Now, obviously the 60 megabit per second video looks better when I view it on my hard drive, but when it goes up to YouTube and YouTube renders it down, is any of that advantage retained? And I submit that the answer is no. I submit that these images are almost completely indistinguishable from one another. When you consider that the 60 meg file is 663 meg and the 16 meg file is 126 meg, so you know, more or less one sixth the size, I don't think there's really any advantage to rendering at that drastically higher bit rate but if you're just gonna upload it to YouTube in the end. And here's that same frame viewed in 1080p resolution. So we're streaming down from YouTube at 1080p. Uh, and in this case, it almost looks like the 60 meg one looks a little better. Uh, I can see that it's exactly the same frame. I don't, yeah, I think that I think the 60 meg one looks a little better, although I'm kind of at a loss as to why it wouldn't look better at 2.7K, but it would look better at... Uh, at, at 1080p. Regardless, the difference, it's pretty small. I think it's pretty small. And uh, and I'm not sure I would take six times larger file just to get that marginal improvement for somebody who's viewing at 1080p. And that's going to bring us to the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed going through this information. Let me sum up for you what I think the results are. Number one, there is no point in recording your GoPro Hero 5 session video at 4K because the fast motion overwhelms the bitrate. And I think that's true for the Hero 5 session and any GoPro camera that uses 60 megabit per second or less, <laughs> which is basically all of them. So I, for, for FPV, I don't think there's any point in recording at 4K. 2.7K gives you the best image quality because that's the sweet spot where there, the bitrate is high enough to, to capture the data and the resolution is high enough to show the, 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 the resolution. As far as uploading to YouTube goes, when you take your 2.7K image out of the GoPro, uh, there might be a small advantage in working on a 4K timeline and exporting at 4K and uploading to YouTube at 4K because YouTube will give you a higher bit rate. But I think that difference is pretty small. I had to really look at the images uh, and and I, I'm not sure it's worth it for the increase in file size when you do backups of your files, which of course you are. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind is 
that people are probably not viewing on a 4K monitor. Some of you out there have 4K monitors, I know, but most people don't. And uh, and if you're viewing at 1080p, that difference between 2.7K and 4K is even smaller. So I think, again, the sweet spot is to work at 2.7K, to export from the camera at 2.7K and upload to YouTube at 2.7K. You will see an advantage in the 1080p content if you upload it 2.7K. Uh, the, the higher quality content uh, apparently makes a difference even if the viewer is only viewing at 1080p. But the best image quality of all is seems to be when you export at 2.7K, you upload at 2.7K, and the viewer views at 2.7K. So what I would say is if you're viewing FPV videos, Go look at that gear icon down in the bottom right, and if they have uploaded, if 2.7K or 1440P is what YouTube calls it, if 1440P is an option, you should go ahead and select it, assuming your internet's fast enough and your computer's fast enough and all that stuff. And then the final question is, uh, is there an advantage to using a stratospherically high bit rate of like 60 megabits per second when you export from your editor to try to retain as much information as possible before you upload to YouTube? And the answer there seems to be Maybe a small difference, but at least in my tests, I found that, that more it was nowhere near enough to make up for the fact that the files were so much larger. And from now on, I'm going to go with YouTube's recommendations. They recommend that you upload at whatever it is, 16 to 24 megabits per second or something like that. And that seems to, seems to work pretty well. Uh, I didn't really see an advantage to exporting at a much higher bit rate. That's going to bring us to the end of this video. And for those of you who are saying, wait, 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 all that content was 30 frames per second. What about 1080p 60 versus 2.7K 30? I know, I, come on, this video is long enough. I will get to the question of whether 30 or 60 frames per second looks best, but I just felt like this video was long enough and it was time to cut it here. So I hope uh, you'll forgive me for that. I hope you got a lot out of this. And as always, happy flying.